On November 24, 1971, an unidentified man using the alias D.B. Cooper executed one of the most daring hijackings in history. Aboard Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305, they vanished into thin air with ransom money. Now 52 years later, we still find ourselves asking the same question. Where is D.B. Cooper? The hijacker identified himself as Dan Cooper, but due to a reporting error, he widely became known as D.B. Cooper. His true identity remains unknown, but here is what we know about his appearance from the day based on eyewitness accounts from passengers and flight crew. He was described as being in his mid-40s with short black hair, an olive skin tone, around 5 foot 10, wearing a black clip-on tie, a suit and loafers. He had no discernible accent and some witnesses recalled his eye colour as brown. On Thanksgiving Eve, November 24, 1971, a man approached the flight counter of Northwest Orient Airlines at Portland International Airport. He purchased a one-way ticket to Seattle under the alias Dan Cooper. Once aboard Flight 305, a Boeing 727 aircraft, Cooper handed a note to flight attendant Florence Schaffner. The note revealed that he was carrying a bomb and demanded $200,000 in cash along with four parachutes. Additionally, he insisted on having a fuel truck ready in Seattle for refueling the plane for a potential getaway. With his demands communicated calmly, D.B. Cooper had successfully hijacked Flight 305. Following the handover of ransom money and parachutes in Seattle, he released the passengers. Cooper then directed the flight crew to set a course for Mexico City with a scheduled refueling stop in Reno, Nevada. Approximately half an hour after departing from Seattle, Cooper executed an escape plan. He parachuted from the plane over the remote wilderness of southwestern Washington, disappearing into obscurity. Despite extensive investigations and various theories, his true identity and ultimate fate have remained elusive. In 1980, a portion of the ransom money surfaced along the banks of the Columbia River. This discovery reignited interest in the case, although it failed to yield any new leads. The FBI dedicated 45 years to maintaining an active investigation, yet conclusive findings remained elusive, rendering this air piracy case the sole unsolved mystery in commercial aviation history. The FBI entertained various speculations about Cooper's fate. They posited that he might not have survived the audacious parachute jump primarily due to a combination of adverse weather conditions, his lack of suitable skydiving equipment, and the densely wooded terrain in which he parachuted. During the investigation, the FBI uncovered 66 latent fingerprints within the airliner, shedding light on the perpetrator's activities on board. Cooper, in his escape plan, left behind several items, including his distinctive black clip-on tie, tie clip, and two of the four parachutes he had demanded. Local law enforcement and FBI agents diligently interrogated potential suspects, however, despite their efforts, no conclusive breakthroughs materialized. Intensive search operations were conducted, encompassing a comprehensive ground search of Clark and Cowlitz counties. In addition, a submarine was deployed to explore the depths of Lake Merwin. Regrettably, these extensive searches failed to yield any pertinent evidence. In an attempt to trace the ransom money, the FBI distributed lists containing the serial numbers of the bills to various institutions and businesses. The black clip-on tie worn by Cooper along with the microscopic particles found upon it as well as hair samples further piqued investigators' interests. However, these intriguing discoveries did not lead to any definitive breakthroughs in the case either. Additionally, eight Raleigh filter tip cigarette butts were discovered in the armrest ashtray of Cooper's seat. Just like the previous evidence, these cigarette butts did not provide any fingerprints that could aid in identifying the elusive hijacker. In 2016, the FBI officially closed its investigation into the D.B. Cooper case, citing a lack of new information. In the aftermath of the D.B. Cooper hijacking, numerous theories, hypotheses and conjectures emerged, each attempting to shed light on the identity and fate of the elusive hijacker. Robert Wesley Rackstraw, a former army paratrooper with a criminal record, emerged as a person of interest. His expertise in areas crucial for the hijacking, such as explosives and aircrafts, made him a prime suspect. 
However, by the late 1970s, the FBI cleared him due to insufficient evidence. Despite this, a recent documentary suggested he might be Cooper, but Rackshaw consistently denied these allegations until his death in 2019. Sheridan Peterson, known for his extensive experience as a smoke jumper, was in the Seattle vicinity during the hijacking. The FBI's interest in him led to interviews in the 1970s and again in the 2000s. Despite the scrutiny, conclusive evidence linking him to the crime remained absent. Peterson, throughout, maintained his innocence, even penning writings on the Cooper case hinting at the FBI's keen interest in him. Publication of D.B. Cooper and Me, A Criminal, A Spy, My Best Friend in 2018 put forward Walter Recker as the real D.B. Cooper. The claims, rooted in interviews with Recker and supplementary evidence, were met with skepticism due to inconsistencies in Recker's narrative. William J. Smith, a former government employee who became a subject of interest based on an analysis of the tie Cooper left behind. The tie contained particles consistent with the environment Smith frequented. Like many theories, concrete evidence supporting this claim remains elusive. Earl Cossey, responsible for packing the parachutes provided to Cooper, met a tragic end in 2013 when he was found murdered in his residence. While no direct evidence connects his death to the Cooper case, it undeniably adds another layer of intrigue to the saga. Twenty seventeen saw a resurgence of interest when a team of private investigators proclaimed the discovery of potential evidence linked to the hijacking. Items such as a strap and foam, believed to be remnants of Cooper's parachute or equipment, were presented. The authenticity and significance of these findings, however, remain subjects of debate. Post hijacking, newspapers received letters supposedly from Cooper. A 2018 analysis of a letter sent to the Oregonian newspaper by a codebreaker suggested that Cooper might have unveiled his true identity in coded messages with the correspondence. The FBI, however, has not authenticated this revelation. The D.B. Cooper case had a significant impact on aviation security, leading to the implementation of various security measures and modifications to the Boeing 727 aircraft to prevent the staircase from lowering during flight. The FBI has preserved all evidence and continues to accept tips and new information. Despite decades of relentless investigation, the question remains unanswered. D.B. Cooper's true identity, the circumstances of his disappearance, and the fate that befell him are still veiled in obscurity. The unsolved enigma of his escapade continues to captivate our imaginations, leaving us with an enduring riddle that challenges our understanding of crime, aviation, and the human spirit. Where is D.B. Cooper? <laughs>